Hey you guys, it's Sarah here and welcome to my channel DIY Busy Books where I show you how to make little felt activity pages for your child to build a busy book for them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a Jonah and the Whale Bible story themed activity page. Uh, for a long time, I have been wanting to make a little Bible story themed busy book. I haven't been doing it and then I got a request from one of you to do a Bible themed uh, series. So I'm going to start with Jonah and the Whale just because this was the first one that I had the full idea for and I thought it was gonna be really cute. This is what it looks like. So it, this is the activity page, and then look at this. The waves open up, and there is the whale, and here is Jonah in the boat, and there's some little button, fish buttons that I've sewn on there, and the little pocket of the boat, and yes, oh, so Jonah is a finger puppet too, so you can put him on your finger, and his little face, he does work, look a little worried, rightfully so after he tried to run away from the lord <laughs> and he fits right inside of the whale as well and i made it so that the little belly is clear and see-through so that kids can see inside um, and then in the front part of the pockets of the waves there are six fish so they come out and yes absolutely they also can all fit inside the belly of the great fish so even if you didn't want to do this as a bible themed if you are a non-believer, this is still a really cute, fun activity just with the whale and the fish itself. I did not put any numbers on the fish, but you could add numbers to them and little kids could um, count them and find like the numbers one to six as they shove them into the mouth of the whale because you know they will shove every single fish into the mouth of the whale. And yes, they do all fit. It gets tight in there, but they do fit. And I think even Jonah can fit in there as well, just barely. So yeah, it's a really cute activity and really fun. And I don't actually make and sell these in bulk. So the template that I'm going to share, it's just a one, one you like a single use template. So if you want to cut multiple pieces at a time of the same pieces so that you're making multiple copies, you will have to duplicate them. Normally on my Patreon, I share the templates in bulk. So you'll see like multiple copies of the same piece in a single um, in a single cut, in a single template. And that's because normally when I make my pages, I make them in bulk. This one I'm not, I just did a single copy and I'm going to keep uh, making more Bible story themed ones. And eventually I will have an entire uh, storybook built with all the kind of more popular, more well-known Bible stories. So I'll have this available as a PDF on my website for free. And then I'll also add it for free on my Patreon as an SVG and a JPEG. So whether you have subscribed to my Patreon or not, I'll make this available to you so that you can cut it on your cutting machine if you wanted to. And then look at the back. Look at the fabric at the back too, you guys. Oh, it's so perfect. Can you imagine my face when I saw this fabric at the fabric store? I was looking. I was looking for something that would go with the theme of this activity and then I saw this and I was like oh my gosh this is perfect <laughs> and it was on sale too <laughs> I didn't buy that much of it because I just needed it for the back of one page but yeah super happy with how it turned out so you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one so I've gone ahead and cut out all my pieces and as always I'm using an 8 inch by 8 inch or 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter sheet of felt for the page itself. Also by hand I cut out two little pieces of dark blue rectangle felt. I'll show you what that's for in a minute. That's the only piece that is not included in the template. And I also have these optional fish buttons that I'm going to sew onto the page. I have those already so they're optional whether you want to add those or not. You'll also need a clear piece of plastic vinyl if you're sewing this. If you're hot gluing this, then I would suggest um, filling in this circle because you don't want to hot glue with plastic vinyl. So if you're not sewing at all, then just disregard this part and don't cut out the center. You'll have to alter my template. Just fill in this center. So I'm going to start with sewing that onto the fish. I've got that sewn on. Next I'm going to go ahead and you can either sew or if you're just using hot glue to make this page you can hot glue um, the top of the wave, the light blue wave down onto the page. I'm just going to sew or you can hot glue on the tops. I'm not going to do the bottom part yet because later on I'm going to be sewing around the whole border so I figure there's no point in sewing down this part and the bottom twice. I'll just sew this top part down and I will also sew down or hot glue if you're making this strictly with hot glue the lightning bolt and then I'm also going to sew in place the black silhouette of the whale. Once I have the entire border of that black silhouette of the whale sewn down, I'm going to um, sew down the border of the blue part of the fish but just make sure you leave the mouth open so don't hot glue or sew that mouth 
um, down. You want to keep it open. And you'll see the little black silhouette fin sticking out. That will be covered by the belly of the fish. I'll be hot gluing those pieces down along with the eye as well. Okay, I've got those things done. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my needle and very thick thread. I believe this is an embroidery thread. It's just a super thick thread that I use for attaching my buttons just because I never want them to break off. I'm going to uh, sew them onto the dark blue small piece of felt. And normally whenever I attach buttons to a page, I knot them on the other side. And then my little secret is I also apply a whole ton of hot glue over top of the over top of the knots so not only do I like triple knot them but then I put on a big whole glob of hot glue to just make sure that 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 thread always stays there and it can never be pulled out um, I won't be able to apply a huge gob of hot glue but I am going to apply a little bit on this one I don't want to apply too much because this will act as the pocket for my little goldfish and so I don't want to have this huge big clump of hot glue in there, but I am still going to apply a little bit. Just notice the placement too of the fish. Ah, no, I just touched the hot glue. Don't do that. Notice I'm not putting them too close to the bottom or the sides because I still need room at the bottom and the sides to sew it around the border of the page. Alrighty, that hot glue is just about dry now. The next thing I'm going to do, the way this is going to work, is I'm going to have these waves act like a little page that opens up, basically. And so I'll have these two blue tabs in between the, um, the, the two sheets of felt here and between these two sheets of felt, the two waves of felt. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But before we even get there, when the child opens this up, I want them to be able to see the boat and I'm going to also sew in a couple of more fish just here. I'm going to use my thread needle. Just don't, don't attach them too high up because then what will happen is on the other side you'll be able to see the knot and the hot glue. So I'm going to keep them low so that you don't see their knots and the hot glue. And then I'm also, same thing applies with the boat. I'm going to sew it right around here, leaving the top part open so that it acts as a pocket for Jonah for when he's thrown off the boat. And then for the white part, I'm just going to use hot glue to attach it onto the back of this wave. Again, I don't want to sew it down because then when the child flips it over, they're going to see those stitches on the other side of the wave. So just little details like that you have to be aware of. So yeah, you can watch me do that. So that's what that looks like. The next part is going to be kind of the most trickiest part just because there's a lot that's happening at once here. We're going to take the two, I guess, wrong sides and put them together so that they're, they're, those glue parts are hidden away. And then I'm also going to have this coral reef, this pink coral reef in place. And I'm going to have on this side, this side of the waves, so I'm just going to tuck in these two dark blue strips that I cut out by hand. I'm going to have those sticking right out the side. I'm just going to clip all of that together. So here's what it should look like. When you flip that over, you've got all this stuff on the other side. And that's what it should look like. Oops, let me clip my coral reef down. I'm not sewing or hot gluing the coral reef down completely. I'm just going to have it attached by the bottom. And that way it can lift off the page and be a little bit more three-dimensional. Um, so it's going to be like that and I'm going to sew around just the sides, the bottom and the top and that's it. I'm not going to sew along the tops at all. I want this to be left open. I want that to act as a pocket. So just sew along the sides and the bottom and then ultimately these two little tabs are then going to be tucked behind this part of the page so that like I said before kids can open that up and uh, tell the story of Jonah and the whale. Okay, I'll just go ahead and I'm just going to sew those down right now so that I don't lose track of how it should be attached here. The next thing I'm going to work on is Jonah and the goldfish. The goldfish are really easy. I'm just going to hot glue two copies of them together 
and they're just going to be tucked inside the front wave and then little kids can take them out and it's just an additional way of playing with the page so I, I have six of them it's up to you how many you want to do maybe you only want to do a few maybe you want to write numbers on them or design them I'm just going to hot glue them together and draw a little black eye on them and that will be it for those and then for Jonah himself I'm going to go ahead and take my two lighter brown copies and I'm going to just sew them together around the border but I'm going to leave the bottom part open so that it will act as a finger puppet and again if you're not sewing just use hot glue around the border. Okay and I'm just going to get the details of Jonah hot glued on so I'm going to start with this darker brown piece hot glue that on and then this black piece it fits right in there at the top of that dark brown piece I'm going to hot glue that on. And then the little peach colored details of his face or whatever skin color you're using, you're going to hot glue those in place. And I have these three darker brown pieces. They match the dark brown of the body part here. There's a circular piece I'm going to be hot gluing at the top. And then there's two pieces that go along the side for the head piece. So I'll glue the two side pieces on first and then I'll hot glue the uh, oval piece on at the top. And finally, we have these lighter brown pieces for the arms. I'm going to hot glue those at the side there. And you'll notice I'm kind of putting them at a bit of an angle just because I kind of want him to look a little bit worried. And I find that if they're right beside each other, they look like they're he's praying, which might also be appropriate for this story. But I feel like with him, with Jonah, I want him to kind of, his face looks a little bit worried. Um... A little bit upset understandably because he does get swallowed by a big fish and so I've put his hands at an angle but you can do whatever you like and then I'm just gonna use my awesome paint markers I showed you guys these in another video they're awesome to just draw on some eyes and eyebrows so there's Jonah and then I'm gonna hot glue the fish together and draw on some eyes So putting the fish and Jonah aside for a minute, the next thing I'm going to do is take another 8 inch by 8 inch sheet of felt and you guys look at this fabric that I found from my fabric store. Isn't it perfect? So if you don't know by now, I do have a not so secret addiction to buying fabric. I know it's a weird thing to be addicted to, but my fellow fabric addicts will understand. Um, and so I love adding fabric to the back sides of my pages when I create busy books. If you're new to my channel, that's how I make my busy book pages. I never make them double sided. I just have them all single sided. And then this is what I do very often for the back sides. I will either just sew on a plain colored sheet of felt, or if I have the perfect fabric, which I very often do, and I do in this case, um, I will just wrap it around that sheet of fabric or that sheet of felt and clip it in place. And then these are my binding pieces that I just cut from thicker felt. I just cut out a whole bunch of them freehand using my scalloped edge, oops, my scalloped edge scissors, which I ordered on Amazon. I'll leave the link for them in the description below. Um, but when I'm watching shows at night, these ones are actually, these scissors are actually getting really dull. I have another pair that are better. Okay, these are the new pair that I bought. I'm just going to straighten out this, this cut. Um, so yeah, I just used these scallop edge scissors and I cut out um, a little binding piece from a thicker sheet of felt. So that's either two millimeters or three millimeters in thickness. And I just make them big enough to fit in between the, the front and the back page. So that's what it looks. Oops, that's upside down. That's what it'll look like on the back. I'm just going to clip that all together with the front of the page. I'll leave my wave part open because I'm not wanting to sew that down at all. That's totally separate. And then I'm just going to place my binding piece in between the front and back side sheet of felt. Okay, and then I'm going to sew around this whole border. Okay, so that's sewn around the border. I'll go ahead and do everyone's favorite part, which is getting my heavy duty hole punch and putting my binding piece in there and hole punching two holes into the binding piece so that um, people can connect the pages with binder rings. And so that as I make the other Bible series activity pages, I'll be able to connect them all using binder rings. 
And one thing I need to do, I'm not quite done yet, I'm gonna get some self-adhesive small Velcro dots and I'm just gonna hot glue them onto this part and this part so that the waves stay closed. Leave the link for these little Velcro dots in the description. They're one, mil they're one centimeter in diameter and they are self-adhesive, which is what you want if you're using hot glue, which I am, because they have this sticky backing on them that all alone, like they're meant to just be able to be self-adhesive, so not require anything. But I find that um, I need to add extra glue to them to get them to stick. So I will add a little bit of hot glue and then just attach them to the felt. If you're sewing your Velcro on, you don't want the self-adhesive Velcro dots because they're sticky and when the needle goes through them, it messes up the needle. But for me, I always just use glue to put my Velcro dots on. And that's the page, you guys. It turned out so cute. This is my first time putting this together, so I'm so glad that it worked out. You know, whenever I plan my pages, I try to make sure and I think about the pieces and how I want them to all go together. But you never know for sure until the whole page is assembled. Okay, hope you guys enjoy this page and stay tuned for more Bible story activity pages. I'm so excited and I can't wait to make more templates and then show you guys the pages. They're going to be so cute. Okay, thanks so much you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.